I'll be linking arms around Parliament. In fact, I'd like to take Parliament by the throat, but I'll make do with linking arms around the Parliament for Julian Assange. I have the great honour of being a personal friend of Julian Assange and one who has defended him at some cost from the beginning against all the false charges and lies that he has been subjected to. I've even sung Frank Sinatra songs to Julian Assange through the window of the Ecuador embassy, kept him up at night. He's now, of course, in the dungeons of Belmarsh Prison and if the American and British governments have their way, he'll be in the dungeon forever in the Supermax prison in Boulder, Colorado. And we will never see his face again. We'll never read a single word of his again. And that would be more than a pity. It would be the death of journalism. It would be the death of freedom of speech in this country and in the world. Because all that Julian ever did was tell the truth. No publication in all history has ever had a 100% record of accuracy, never having to withdraw or correct a single word over all those years that he published. He should be getting the Nobel Prize for Literature. He should be being honored in Australia and Britain and everywhere, should be honoring him as a hero. Instead, he's facing three life sentences in a supermax in Colorado in the US injustice system. So the very least you can do is to link arms around Parliament and show your support for him. The most you can do is to join the great campaign, global, international, led by Julian's wife and his children. Join that campaign. Do everything that you can. Strive might and main for the release of the hero, the world historic journalist and publisher, Julian Assange.